What's up everybody? I'm Adam Bilsing. This is Dirty Bandana Music. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about an interesting drum mic placement that I've been seeing a lot. We're going to talk about this mic. See where it's at? Let's kick it. Okay, so here it is from a different angle. This is what it looks like when I'm sitting behind the kit. Right now I've got a Shure SM7B in this position. And I've been trying this out lately because I keep seeing this online. I keep seeing other drummers with a mic placed there. And I've been really curious to see what kind of sounds it gets. So I'm making this video to show you what it sounds like. I've got the SM7B plugged directly into the Machionix and we're gonna put it through a uh, put it through the DAW without a whole lot of anything on it. And my goal is I'm gonna show you what this sounds like in this position, and then I'll show you how that compares with like all the mics on the kit. I've got overhead mics, I've got close mics. I got another room mic back there. There's, uh, there's several mics to here, so we're really gonna be able to tell the difference. And I'm gonna do this two different ways. I'm gonna do this with the mic about where it is. Uh, you can see the distance from the snare drum, like, I don't know, six inches away from the snare drum, about the same from the top of the kick drum. And then I'm gonna do another one where I move it back, like this direction, back away from everything. And we'll see what that sounds like as well. So uh, here we go. What's up? Okay, so I was just mixing this video and uh, listening back to these these microphone examples with just the close mic that we've been working on, and they sound really, really good. Like, I'm very astounded by how good these sound with just one microphone. All I did with these is a little bit of EQ and like a tiny, tiny touch of compression, and that's all that's on this. Um, between the two of them, we have the example where they're near, like the mic is closer to the snare drum and bass drum. Then we have the one where it's a little further away. And uh, between the two of them, I like the one where it's a little further away. Uh, they're both really pretty good, but the one that's closer to the snare drum and the kick drum, you're getting way more attack of the kick and not as much body. And then the one that's pulled a little further back, there's more, uh, more body, more roundedness to the kick drum. Uh, the snare and the kick are a little more in balance overall and uh, you sort of get the rest of the kit too like the cymbals don't even sound bad so this is a pretty huge uh, pretty huge victory I would say putting a mic in this position would be great if you were using it as one of you know eight or ten or twelve mics it's pretty great and also if you're in like a real weird pinch and you only have one microphone to use for your whole kit not a bad spot to put it uh, in this interesting close room mic placement. So uh, check it out, try it out. Whatever mic you got, dynamic mic, that's what I use today. Put it in that spot and see what you think. Okay, that's gonna do it for today. I hope that gave you a little bit of an idea what you can expect from this strange close room mic setup. If you try this out for yourself, leave me some comments below. Let me know how it worked for you. Let me know if you have any tips about placement. I'm just starting to feel this out myself, so uh, if anybody else has some good ideas, I would love to hear them. Be sure to like and subscribe below. Like I always say, there's plenty of new stuff coming up on my channel, including lots of explanations of the weird groove that you heard me playing for these playing examples. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Dirty Bandana, and you can get all the details for everything I'm up to on my website at DirtyBandana.com. That's it for now. We'll see you all next time.